Hey guys, how you doing? It's Kev Tech here bringing another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Sunday. And today I want to go over some CompTIA A plus questions and exams. I wish you do make sure you know what to do. Rate, comment, share, give me a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. So I'm going to share my screen. We're going to go over a few uh, CompTIA questions uh, just to prepare you for the for the actual test. Yes, yeah, some of these questions you may see in an actual exam. Really depends on the exam because there's, they have over a thousand questions that they they randomize and pick. When you go take an exam for A+, plus, but it's good to go over these things as a friendly reminder for myself because I haven't, you know, I haven't, I haven't done A+, plus in a while, but it's good to remind myself that what's, what's POP3, what's IMAP, what's, what's um, SMTP, what's SMB, stuff like that, right? So let me share my screen real quick. Uh, screen one. All right, so we have our first question, which is POP3 protocol is used for what? Um, from my understanding, this is... Uh, Email retrieval. So I'm going to put that one for this one. So I'm going to continue. Which of the following answers refers to API that enables communication between hosts on a LAN? So this is the net BIOS. Uh, LAN is local area network. Uh, the functions of, of net BT protocol is, is to allow net BIOS services to be used over TCP IP networks. True or false? Uh, for me, it's true. Which of the following answers refer to I'm... I map four. So yes, yeah, like two answers. Um, offers improved functionality in comparison to POP3. Serves the same functions as POP3. Enables sending email messages from the client devices. Offers less functionality, POP3. Enables email exchanges between mail servers. So I'm gonna pick this one and this one. Um, it says here, a type a type of protocol used for network management systems for monitoring network at such uh, devices is called SMB, NTP, SNMP, RDP. So RDP, I, I, it's not going to be that one. Because RDP is remote desktop protocol. It's not going to be this one either. I think it's SM, SNMB, MBP. Uh, LDAP, LDAP, you know, it's for directory access to protocol. That's what LDAP is. I think it's light directory, light directory access access protocol. I'll put it somewhere here on the screen so I know the answer is. But I think that's what it is. Um, next question: What is the name of the network protocol that secures web traffic via SSL TOS encryption? This is going to be HTTPS. And actually, if you go to your, let me just go here for a second. If you go into internet options, and I know if you go into uh, sites, oh, let's say, sorry, uh, custom level, and some of that information is not here, sorry, wrong one, uh, advanced, there we go. Yeah, see, it's right there, HTT, HTTP, HTTPS, scroll over down, or TLS, and SSL. I know it's in there, so. All right, what are the characteristics of SMB and CIFS? Um, and it says here, to select two, used mainly by computers running Linux distributions, provides share access to files, directories, and devices, used mainly by computers running Microsoft Windows operating systems, enables voice and multimedia communications over IP networks. So I'm gonna hit this one and this one, go next. Which of the following answers refers to Microsoft Remote Access Protocol, providing user a referral interface for connecting to another computer over the network? We already know as RDP, Remote Desktop Protocol, Secure Share Hosts, BNC, Telenet. It's not going to be any of those. So that's the reason why I picked that answer. Uh, which port enables FTP data connections for sending file data? So FTP is 2021. Are the port numbers? Um, and then here's gonna be a little confusing, but it should be TCP port 20. Um, the FTP's control connection for administering a session is established to, I guess, again, FTP is 2021. So we're gonna pick TCP port 21. Um, SSH protocols runs on, uh, and this is TCP port 21, UDP port 22, TCP port 20, TCP port 2022. So um, SSH is to your shell host, TCP port 2022. Um, it says, 
Which t which of the TCP ports listed below is used by Telenet? So which one uses Telenet? 20, 21, 22, 23. They think about it a little bit, guys. For me, it's going to be 23. Uh, TCP port is used by what? So it's used by SMB, Telenet, FTP, SMTP. Um, I'm going to put SMTP. Which of the following uh, ports is assigned to the domain name Domain name system DNS is 53. It wouldn't be 380, 389. It wouldn't be 110. It wouldn't be 67. 53 is the answer for that one. Uh, dynamic host configuration protocol runs on what? Select two. UDP port 65. UDP port 66. UDP port 67. UDP, UDP, UDP port 68. UDP port 69. So this would be 67 and 68. Uh, TCP port 80 is assigned to what? Uh, HTTP, uh, hypertext transfer protocol over TLS, SS, SSL, HTTPS, um, internet message access protocol, lightweight directory access protocol. So I got this one right. That was right about that for LDAP. All right. So it's this one, HTTP. Uh, next question. Post office protocol 3, POP3 uses what? TCP port 110, UDP, UDP port 123, TCP port 143, UDP port 161. So it's going to be TCP port, this TCP port 110. Which of the following port numbers uh, listed below are reserved for NetBio services? Select three, 135, 136, 137, 138, 139. So 137, 138, 139. Which of the following TCP ports is used for the Internet Message Access Protocol IMAP? 143, 389, 443, 636. I mean, 143. Uh, an SMB management station receives SMP notifications from ages on UDP port 161, 137, 162, or 138. I mean, 162. And SMB, SNMP agent receives requests on UDP port what number? 161, 137, 162, 138. Of the three existing versions of simple network management protocol, SNMP uh, versions one and two, SNMP v1, and SNMPv2 offer authentication based on a community string sent in an unencrypted form in a clear text. SM, SNMPv3 provides packet encryption, authentication, hashing mechanisms that allow you to check whether the data has changed in transit. True or false? This is going to be true. Uh, we know what this is. So this is TCP port 389, the default network port for what? Um, LDAP. Which of the following ports is used by HTTPS? Um, TCP port 80, TCP port 443, UDP port 53, TCP port 143. Select your answers, guys. Think about it. Like you, you could pause on the questions and answers when I go over something. Go over and think about it real quick. So this is going to be TCP port uh, 43, 443. All right. I'm going over the answers. Number one, I got it right. Number two, got that one right. Number three, I got that. So I actually did. I actually took this exam yesterday, last night while I was before I went to bed. Um, so I know what the answers are. Um, yeah. So I got all these right. I think. Yeah. Yeah. So I just want to go over this real quick. But yeah, I'll, I'll put like a little explanation there why the answer is why why this is the answer why that's it what what does it stand for? So um, I'm gonna stop sharing. So yeah, that, uh, that's it for me, man. Just a short video going over um, some A-plus questions and answers. If you like this, you want me to make more videos like this, then if you want me to make sh like actual content on the A-plus, um, like the actual CompTIA A-plus book, let me know and I'll make more content on that. With that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful Sunday and take care. Peace. Bye.